should say that we're continuing to explore the nature of divine psychology. There's a story that allows a question to arise that tests our own understanding. It's a story of a, a dervish who was with a Sufi peer for many years. But one day, his Sufi master called the dervish to him and said, to further our work, and to further your own spiritual education, you must go to Kabul. Now, the dervish knew that Kabul was a very great distance away and that it was a seat of orthodoxy. But after these many years with his teacher and master, he had learned not to question so he prepared himself for his travel. But dressed in the garb of the dervish, as soon as he crossed into the land of, in which Kabul was located, he was apprehended by the authorities and immediately taken to jail. And it would it was broadcast throughout Kabul that a dervish heretic had been taken into custody and jailed. But while the dervish was in incarceration, he found that there was a ready and very receptive group of inmates who were avid to hear his stories his experiences of the Sufi way. And of course, this came to the ears of not only his jailers, but was passed on to the authorities, who immediately wanted to stop this, and so they released him. And he returned to his home, a place where he reported to his Sufi teacher. And time passed, elapsed as time does, and then his Sufi teacher called him to him again and said, it is time to return to Kabul. Now the dervish, knowing what was awaiting him, was truly apprehensive about this. But again, after his years with his teacher, he had learned obedience. And so he prepared himself and again traveled to Kabul. And certainly the same thing happened. Immediately he crossed the border wearing his dervish garb he was taken into custody again. And the same thing happened. The inmates in the jail were so receptive to his stories and his experiences of the Sufi way. But of course it had been broadcast abroad again that this same dervish had been taken into custody. And so again the same thing happened. His jailers learned of the influence that was spreading and it came to the ears of the authorities who again released the dervish. But before he could return to his home land, when he was re released from the jail, he found a group of people waiting for him, anxious and avid to learn the Sufi way. Now the dervish did return to his home place 
And when he came before his Sufi master, the Sufi master said to him, Well, you have learned the ways of existence, but tell me, what have you learned about the ways of the world? So this is the question that's posed to us. What reply would we, as the dervish, respond to the question, what have you learned about the ways of the world? And of course, we have to translate the word work, perhaps bringing it back to our inquiry, our exploration, because we've called it divine psychology. In the story, it's called the work. What would you as the dervish respond to the Sufi master. Just say, I do agree. You don't really know what the work is. And it's whatever's in front of us, I'd say. Mm. The inmates are interested in learning about him because they can see something in him that they wanted to, to gain for themselves. I think you just be yourself. So what's really the question that's being asked here? What is the core in every one of our life's experiences, in our life's encounters? What are we about? What's the basis of divine psychology? What is it that's contained in every story you tell? This up now, come on. <laughs> this up. It's the process that you've been through yourself. Yes. Um, but if you're willing to uh, question, you can find the answers in the least, uh, not, not in the kind of conventional way. Yeah. Um, so when you tell a story, it's usually for yourself, you know, to pose questions to yourself. In any way where it is not in, in life, in all experiences. My friend 
friend, my friend, English Beach is a fish scientist, is often asked to give talks on yeah, fishes in any situation. And um, recently she said to me, everybody was giving these fish talks, and she said, I decided to tell them how I grew up and why I became a how she became a fish scientist. Because she actually had asthma as a child. And so they went to the islands and she and her brother had the most amazing childhood. But I think it's related to this story. <laughs> what you're asking mm. us. 